Today I will be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how to effectively create an Appen account and successfully apply for UHRS by passing the language test. But before I continue, I would like to request you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on notification bell, so that you may never miss some important updates regarding earning opportunities. Now, on this video I will be showing you how to create an Appen regular account, I know some of you might be asking yourselves what is Appen regular account? So let me explain it to you in simple terms possible. An app and regular account is a type of account that uses only Payoneer payment gateway as a mode of payment, so with this type of account you can never request app and to send you payment using any other method. Only Payoneer. Away with that, let's now dive in and create an app and account. Go to Google and search app and connect, click this result here and it will take you directly to app and sign up page. On this page fill in this form fields with your details. Then select your country and click Submit. Appen will send you an email address verification code. Go to your email and copy the code. Now paste the code here to complete your registration. But you should know that the code is case sensitive, meaning you should input the code in capital letters as it is in your email. If you change it to small letters, it will not be accepted. Now click here and proceed to login page. Here in login page enter your details and log in to your account. Here you will be asked to choose your language. So I will choose English. Next you will be required to choose the location where that language is most spoken. Just choose your country. You will be taken to your dashboard. And as you can see, your account progress bar is at 50%. So to be able to unlock long-term projects and make your Appen account a regular account, click on this button and complete your account by filling the remaining details. So let's proceed. The first page is location details. So fill that and proceed to the next page. This is education page, I this field, highest level of education. Make sure to fill undergraduate or graduate. The linguistic part is optional but it's my advice that you fill this field, it will give you more opportunities, so fill diploma studying or diploma completed, then go to next. Here add your phone number and proceed. Here you will be taken to a preview page, check your entries if they are correct then save and submit. After that, click continue and you will be taken to smartphone verification page. Click yes. Here you can scan the QR code to verify your smartphone. If your smartphone doesn't support QR scanning due to camera picture quality, just copy this link to your smartphone's browser and open it. Appen will automatically verify. After verifying smartphone, click continue. Here fill these additional information. Then sign this consent form by agreeing. Proceed. Then accept app and confidentiality agreement and continue. Now your app and account is complete and you can start applying for projects. Now go to this project here Crescent, data collector and click apply. You will be taken through qualification process. In this field here, enter your window live ID, well it is just an Outlook or Hotmail email address. You can also use Gmail account but you should first create an Outlook account using that Gmail address. Then click verify, Appen will send verification code to this email. Copy the code and enter in this validation code field, remember all characters are capital letters. Then continue filling this other fields. In the company currently working as C field, just fill any company you know. Then click save. Then go ahead and accept this.
Here click on this UHRS form and read UHRS judge data consent if you are interested. Otherwise check this box and continue. As the final step of UHRS application process, you will need to undertake a language assessment exam. It's a voice to text test, or you can call it audio to text. It's an easy task, but if you don't listen carefully, you might fail. Make sure read the instructions before proceeding. What you should also keep in mind is that the test is in American English. Most of the countries use British English, and there is a difference in how to spell some words. So watch your spelling and use American English. I don't expect the rain to affect the outcome. I admire those workers' determination. The ship began its journey. I wouldn't recommend it for new users. This hat complements my wardrobe nicely. What is your favorite color? He was quickly promoted to secretary. It is better to give than it is to receive. Business liaison office. She is rising fast in the hierarchy. Don't touch them if they're lit up. I'll meet you at 12 o'clock. I advise you to hurry up. At first he was skeptical about it. We were slowed down by bad weather. The fight will be left versus right. You're welcome to try if you like. Let's think about it and reconvene. This is a great opportunity for you. I'm taking bass lessons to expand my repertoire. Now this is the last question. If we pass then our application will be complete, but if we fail, then we will be redirected to retake the test again. So, let's submit and see. And yes, we have passed the test and our application is now complete. Make sure to check your email for follow-up emails from Appen. 
Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also, if there is a topic you will want me to cover regarding UHRS then please don't hesitate to comment below and I will make a video on that.